Hello, Stephen here. I thought I'd do a short video on my Skyrim data folder management. I uh, realized um, actually a few years ago that you can make different data folders to hold your different mods or whatever you have going for your various playthroughs. For example, looking at Skyrim Special Edition here, right here I have a data folder, just called data. Open it up. And you can see that I have various mods in this one, alternate start, climates of Tamaril, and various other things. I have a couple of copies here. These are both just fresh uh, virgin, if you want to call it, data folders. Nothing in them. I have a couple of playthroughs where I might want to use nothing. Or I can stick my Creation Club mods in one of them and use that. So the idea is to have a different data folder for various uh, mod playthroughs. So you don't always have to keep turning mods on and off. Uh, here's one other example back in Old Rim. Right here you can see I have Requiem. Requiem in one of the folders. Here's the Requiem file right there. I don't have to swap that out. That's a pretty technical one. You don't want to really mess with that. Another one I just call mods. I have various mods again, alternate start, climate of Tamriel. And then my virgin data folder for old rim. Yes, basically the original thing, except for I do have the sky UI and the heads up display. So that's about that for uh, both of the sky rims. So one of the other great things and why I probably originally started using various data folders is in case one of them got corrupted beyond repair, I always had a copy to go back to. I thought that was a pretty uh, safe thing to do. All right, Stephen out.